WKRP in Cincinnati, a beloved American sitcom that aired from 1978 to 1982, featured a colorful cast of characters working at a struggling radio station in Cincinnati. The ensemble cast included actors like Gary Sandy, Howard Hesselman, and Loni Anderson, whose portrayals of the quirky staff endeared them to the audiences. Decades later, the legacy of WKRP endures, prompting curiosity about the lives and careers of these cast members after the show ended. From continued acting endeavors to notable personal milestones, the WKRP cast has evolved, leaving an indelible mark on TV history. Howard Hesselman, born February 27, 1940 in Lebanon, Oregon, USA, played Dr. Johnny Fever at 38 in 1978. Sadly, he passed away on January 29, 2022 at 81, leaving us deeply saddened. Time we could clean up. Yeah. <laughs> so always look for the union label. It's coming to you with any success as an actor. There's somebody who's going to run get you a bottle of water. Somebody's going to comb your hair for you. So I'm Carol Bruce, born November 15, 1919, in New York City, USA, played Lillian Carson at 60 years old in 1979. Sadly, she passed away on October 9, 2007 at 87, leaving us deeply saddened. Union. I must say you've handled this beautifully. <laughs> Frankly, I don't know how you did it, but my congratulations. No That's question. Mama Rose. No Mama Rose. question. The best. And I played it once myself. Yeah. Did you really? And not yeah. bad, not too shabby, but she was Mama incredible. Rose. Wasn't she great? I love and you. And what a role, you know. Screams. Mary Friend, born February 27, 1943, in St. Louis, Missouri, USA. She played Avis Dropkin at the age of 38 in 1981. Sadly, she passed away on September 23, 1998, at 55. Don't do disco. It's like the man says. It's got to be rock and roll music if you want to dance with me. Well, Johnny, like the lady says. In all of us, at times you are the initiator and at other times you are the reactor. And somebody said a long time ago, and I know it's a big cliche, but... Gary Sandy, born December 25, 1945 in Dayton, Ohio, USA, played Andy Travis at the age of 33 in 1978. He is currently enjoying life at 78. Uh, look, I'm sorry. You can decorate this lobby any way you want to. You're sure? I'm sure. Hey! Hi, Venus, what's... See? <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe it. I'm on television yeah. here. What was that like? this? Man, I'm sorry, that, that was in the prompter. Tim Raid, born December 19, 1944, in Norfolk, Virginia, USA, played Venus Flytrap at 34 in 1978. He is currently living happily at 79. She's supposed to be back at something. And she's with me. We're having a ball. I'm showing her around. This is Andy's sister. You know, it's very natural for, for me and, and her. But Ian Wolf, born November 4th, 1896, in Canton, Illinois, USA. He played Hirsch at the age of 85 in 1981. Sadly, he passed away on January 23rd, 1992, at 95, leaving us deeply saddened. Hirsch, go squeeze a lemon. Yes, ma'am. I might suggest you do. Loni Anderson, born August 5, 1945, in St. Paul, Minnesota, USA, played Jennifer Marlowe at 33 in 1978. She is currently enjoying life at 78. Really? Uh huh. Well, Mr. Carlson, I think there are some doors best left unopened. Oh, uh, uh, and the doctors didn't expect him to live. No, they said, we don't think he's going to make it through the night. And he heard that. He did. Sam Anderson, born May 13, 1945, in Wapaton, North Dakota, USA, 
He played Mason Noble at 34 in 1979. He is now enjoying life at 79. Individuality, that's me, Andy. I, uh, I like to think of myself as not just unique, but different. Uh, <laughs> well, for example, I thought, I want to have that kind of effect on people. How do you prep for a role? With something like Lost, for example, when I first started on the show, I land in Hawaii, and the person... Alan Ann McCleary, born December 1st, 1926, in Grand Mere, Quebec, Canada. She played Carmen Carlson at 53 in 1979. Sadly, she passed away on May 21st, 2018 at 91, leaving us deeply saddened. And you're gonna see it. Right, yeah. At least I hope you're gonna see it. Arthur is gonna be right there with me. We decided. Yeah. All right, come on, Arthur. Richard Sanders, born August 23rd, 1940, in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, USA, played the role of Les Nesman at the age of 38 in 1978. He is now enjoying life at 83. He's writing Jennifer Jettadore. Jettadore. <laughs> what does that mean? Frank Bonner, born February 28, 1942, in Little Rock, Arkansas, USA, played Herb Tarlek at 36 in 1978. Sadly, he passed away on June 16, 2021 at 79, leaving us deeply saddened. What is the day it was born? Well, you sure seem okay. Everybody gets little pains in their chest, you know? What pain? A lot of people do. I mean, I didn't want to go to see the doctor. I knew it was a pizza. <laughs> Hamilton Kemp, born October 30th, 1934, in London, England. He played Buddy Gravers at the age of 44 in 1978. Sadly, he passed away on October 2nd, 2005, at 70 years old, leaving us deeply saddened. <laughs> it's radio, Dell. The magic word is radio. Speaking of radio, Herb, let's look at this little Nansui portable. Isn't she a beauty? <laughs> she sure is, Dell. Jen Smithers, born December 1st, 1949, in North Hollywood, California, USA. Play barely quarters at 29 in 1978. She is currently enjoying life at 74. Not a lot of time. Will he be back soon? Who? Carlson. <laughs> I don't know. Huh. I'm sure. Who is your favorite character on WKRP in Cincinnati? Comment and share interesting things below this video. As always, don't forget to show your affection. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel to see more, and turn on the bell so you don't miss out on new content. I'm so excited to create more wonderful memories with you all. Thank you very much and don't leave. See you again as soon as possible.